Welcome back to Crafting with Pui Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the knife tool to cut in Silhouette Studio. It's a knife, so you can use it to cut stuff, cut things off. You know, I'm going to show you how you can use it in Silhouette Studio today. I have two images here, and we're going to use these images um, to demonstrate the cutting. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to cut um, like vector, like um, shapes here in Silhouette Studio with a knife tool. Okay. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the this one here. No, let's take a letter A. Letter A. Make a letter A, capital letter A. I make it bigger. And then I will make it black. Okay, let's see, this is my A, and um, I want to cut something off. Let's, let me get red. I think red is better. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even grayish, like light gray. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you how you can cut with the knife, okay? Um, let's go in. Okay, here is the A. Okay, here is the knife tool right here. Knife tool is right here. The knife is a knife, just like a, a, a physical knife. Cut, you cut whatever you want to cut with it. That's how this knife is. It cuts through vectors. It cuts through PNG files, okay? Let's do it. I'll take the knife tool, you see? I'll, I'll hold it here and I cut, you see that? And it cuts. Okay, but uh, if, if the image still meets, it's connected somewhere, it won't uh, come loose. Okay, when I cut here, you see I cut that. Now, the image, you see, is loose because I cut it. Okay, if you cut it only on one side, like how I cut it on one side here, it, it won't come off. But I have to cut it to the other side too. And it will come off. Okay, you see that? So it came off. I cut it. Okay, now I will move this under here and I'll go back to the knife tool and I will stand here and then I will cut. When you do this, look, it's cut through it. When you're cutting things, you cut through one layer only. You make sure that uh, you have only one layer if it's, if it's that layer you want to cut. Don't make the mistake of uh, overlapping some images and then you think you, you're cutting the, the first layer and the second layer won't cut. It will cut through it. It's a knife, just like I said, just like you're using a physical knife. That's how this knife tool in Silhouette Studio is, okay? Okay, one other thing. When you cut with a knife, if you want to cut, like you want to cut straight to something, let's say I want to cut from here to here. I will tilt my image a little bit like so. And then I'm going to go with a knife. Like, no, you see, it, does, it won't cut like I want to. No, you see, you can bring it back and release it and it will be gone. Let's go closer. I want to cut a straight line. I want to cut a straight line, straight, straight line. If you want to cut a straight line, like you want to cut straight to it, let, let, let me let me go back here. You, let's say I want to cut a straight line, like straight. This is not straight enough for me. Let me get something. Let me get this. Let's say this was an image. And I want to cut a straight line. I want to cut it. Let's say it was a PNG and I wanted to cut it. Okay. I would go to the knife tool. And I'll hold shift plus um oh no, don't stay there. I'll stand here. I hold shift plus command and I will drag it down. You see it will cut straight. Oh you have to hold the shift and lose and let go. And then it will cut for you like straight up like in a straight line because uh with um with freehand you might not 
do it right but you hold let me write it down here for you oh my goodness i'm cutting everything let me write it down here for you Shift and command. Yeah, by using shift and command. You hold shift. Okay, let's go back to our knife. Hold shift. Stand here. And then hold command and then drag it on your mouse. And then let go. No, sorry. Hold shift. Command. Drag it. And lose command. Let go of command and it will cut. Okay. You don't let go of shift because it will shift it again. You let go of command. Okay. This the, the knife tool is very, very important, very, very useful. Very, very useful. Let's go to the images and see what we can cut there. Okay, these are my images. If you need them, you can get them in my Etsy store. In my Etsy store, I have removed the background so you are you will be able to use them as stickers or as DTF files. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, but we're going to cut through this. We do the same thing. Okay. Up here are the different forms that your knife can cut. Okay. The different forms. Um, it's got solid outline and square. Let's go in here. You can, you see? The different ways you can cut with your knife. Oh, this is nice. Let's go to let's go to dovetail. No, let's go to square. So I will stand here. I hold shift and command. And then I will drag it. And let go. You don't see anything but it's cut. Look. Woohoo, you see that? But it's cut. Let's go to another one. Let's see, it says cuts outline. I'll hold shift and command again. Okay, let's see what it cut. Okay, it cut. Um go back to knife. Let's go in here. It says wave. Okay, you don't see any line, but it cuts. So that's how you can use the knife to always stay here and come here. But yeah, come in and use the knife too. It's very helpful. You can do different things. And like we said, you never, if you don't want to cut two stuff, never put them or this uh, under each other like this here let's say i want to cut uh, a little part of here let's go back and solve it one knife outline i cut oh let me change this really quick straight i'll cut here and then when you go see this is cut this piece is already what you see the, the whole image is cut so this knife uh, operates just like a, a household knife physical knife this is easy to do and i hope you learn something out of this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe like i said these images are available on my etsy shop um you can get them without the background and uh, you can make DTF files with them. Thank you. Or stickers.